Dorothy, Dorothy proclaimed that, uh, and it was recorded, that she was going to be the light on the hill in Allendale. And she and is. She's become that, for sure. Yeah. Well, a prophetess. You knew where you were heading, and you made it happen, Dorothy. And, <laughs> we're and, you, and you know what, David? It only could have been God because to bring that up out of my spirit because I've told Kim sometime I'd driven up in the yard and said, God, you know what? I don't want to be the light on the hill anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> even as I've said it, David, every time he has a ram in the bush for me or he sends an Aaron and a her to hold up my tired arms. And that's how I know that it's him working in me to keep going and doing what I do. So absolutely, I am the light on the hill for such a time as this because we didn't go back to New Orleans, but because you all came in and people from all across America leaving their families and their loved ones to come do this for us, that is just so heart-wrenching. And I love it. Yes, thank you all so much. Well, well thank you. Because, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is, I mean, we, we go about this work and we're providing blessings for families, but in every case, we're more blessed for it. Mm. Uh, you know, it, it's that uh, divine calculus that uh, as you give, you receive, and we receive more than we give. And so it's a blessing to be a part of your life. Yes. You know, Murray, uh, David, Murray and I have our Wednesday Zooms, and, and I was telling him that uh, we were going to be meeting today. And he, he brought up the, uh, the story of, of Father uh, Andre in presenting to uh, Millard and Linda this box that that uh, to be used somehow in the Greater Blessing Project that held a harmonica. And it was very significant because it was one of his few possessions uh, that he cherished. And uh, Murray recalled that Linda didn't want to take it. And she just thought that's too precious a gift. And, and uh, Miller said, you have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding the significance of the, of the offering that Father Andre was making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say, yeah. Sometimes you have to, you have to receive in order to give. Yeah, I you know. What's that? I, I was just saying about Father Andre. The one thing I did love about him, Father Andre would get out into the neighborhood. He would always stop by our house. He'll just come on in and sit down and cross his legs, and we'll have a conversation. I mean. He did. He would visit the new neighbors that was in the neighborhood. So he he was a blessing here. He was. He uh, really made the volunteer thing work for us too by opening up the uh, the uh, church property down there. So yes. As our volunteers, he was yes. a big part of this. I missed him. He, he was he was quite the character. Absolutely. Uh, he, he was a strong advocate for our opposition to I forty nine as well. He, he wrote letters and he was there with us. And, and the church still is, David. They're very solidly a partner with Allendale Strong. And in fact, they're, they're co-hosting this event. Oh, and are they really? And the food. Uh, and, and there's a story with that, too. They were excited because we were going to do it in the fellowship hall. And uh, we're working with Deacon Charles. And Deacon uh sends out this email message that you from the first sentence you could tell he was disappointed and he had a picture attached where the ceiling had fallen in in the fellowship hall and he was saying i don't think we'll have this repaired in time and uh and that was when our group said you know that one of the more significant parts of this summit is our partnership with blessed sacrament and so we said well maybe we can do it in the friendship house and uh, and they stuck with us, and they're providing the food, and you know, showing that they're with us. So it's great. Well, say hello to him for me. I don't know the new new pastor there like I knew Father Andre, but uh, mm -hmm. but they were great partners. And you know, that's what it takes, though. You get the church, and the city, and the local organizations, and the people that live there together. Miracles happen. Yeah. Well, you know, the, one of the questions are, we're going to pose is in recognition uh, 
and Mike will have to feel it, I guess, but just what happened with all the local involvement and, and I, you know, I'm a part of that. I brought our firm's work in and doing pro bono planning and trying to get uh, the houses where they were a little more like new urbanists on Clay Street and the, the row houses and, and the, the, uh, the willingness that you represented in Fuller Center to try new things uh, to, to make stronger neighborhood. So that was my experience. But then Murray's role uh, we had churches that came in and local volunteers and and all this energy locally while you were bringing in outside folks and there was still resistance and yeah. uh, and 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 your quote is one that should go down in history uh, Murray would trying to maybe you recall it exactly but a very important quote about judging the uh, righteousness of an endeavor by the resistance that you encounter. It's, it's absolutely true. Yeah. That was, but uh, that's why we're called to do this, to overcome, because the devil don't want this to happen. He doesn't want us to be nice and happy. And uh, so it's our obligation to, to demonstrate, hey, this is what Christianity is all about. This is what believing is all about. And uh, so I, 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 you know, I'm sure from what you talked about, the agenda for tomorrow, you get a chance to recognize all these folks that got involved in this and i didn't mention kim and his outfit was huge in in helping us make this happen so yeah, uh, uh, yeah we've patting lots of lots of shoulders over this event and uh, like all i wish i could be there but i do wish you the very best well thanks thanks and, and we'll look forward to this being a first step in a new conversation for shreveport excellent uh, i would really can see that happening that the uh, the forces of money and government are are trying to just flood Allendale with apartment complexes that are federal investments, and uh, and this is a, a totally different vision and a different conversation. And the residents are recognizing they want more home ownership in Allendale, not more apartments. And yeah. so it's uh, it, it's quite a contrast. And hopefully, it'll be the beginning of a of a growing conversation. Good, I hope so, because uh, nothing can bring a neighborhood down more than having uh, taken a home ownership neighborhood that they had start to put rental properties in it. it just doesn't work. Right. Yeah. So yeah. be strong, Alan Dale. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Smith, I am so happy to have you on. I'm so happy to meet you finally. Hopefully one day I can, since I'm here um, in, in, in Henry County, I can make it down there to America's one day. I think you should. Have you been here? I haven't. I haven't been down to America's. I used to work in, in Augusta um, at, at, uh, in, in the Navy Reserve, and we used to do a lot of um, uh, funerals for uh, the military. Yeah. So we've been all over you know, all over Georgia, but haven't been to America yet. Oh, you got to get down here. Uh, I'll show you around. Doesn't take long. There's not a lot to see, but boy, I'll tell you, it's a powerful little place. Yeah. Oh, I, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Yeah, just stay in touch. Let me know. That would be great. Okay, definitely. Um, another thing, probably after the Homeowner Summit, uh, probably later this, probably later this month, hopefully we can do the podcast and, and try to get more of, of your insight on on housing and you know um, I know you you've done housing all over the world so I would love to get your insight just on how housing has changed people not just in America but in other countries I, I went through your website and I mean I'm just blown away uh, on how far reaching uh, Fuller Center for Housing is and I would love to get just some stories and some some, you know, just how those things have changed people's lives. I'd be happy to do that with you. That'd be great. Yeah, it'd, it'd be great for David to talk about the, the depth from which they come and how they got to the, the formula that they have. I mean, it's just amazing to think you can put people in home ownership cheaper than they can rent. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. that here, here you've got a success story and Dorothy, as well as other neighbors there, where they're just about to get out from under their mortgage. Absolutely. You know? so. Isn't that great? <laughs> yes. No. Thank you. Yes. 
Now that's, that's a the whole secret. You right there. <laughs> well, when you pay off that mortgage, you own that house. There's no question. Then you have sweated for it and bled for it, and, and it is a true blessing. And um, if you, uh, I feel bad for folks that rent all their lives because they never have the satisfaction of, of owning that little piece of God's earth and having it be truly theirs. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll go back to eight, uh, 1942. I'll give you the whole story. <laughs> I, love it. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I mean, I love it. I mean, I love hearing hearing this, the, you know, the full story of how things are built, how things come together. It just, it warms my heart because I know the, you know, I, I was, my family was renters our whole lives. My grandmother stayed in the same address for over 30 years. I thought she owned it. And lo and behold, she, you know, my mother was like, no, she's renting. She, you know, she's been renting the whole time. And that just has been a family thing. But now I've been able to own and my father's been able to own. And I look back and I find out my grandmother, my great grandmother has owned properties all through Allendale. Now there are other stories behind it, but, you know, I, I would love to, you know, um, talk about just how home ownership changes the way you look at, you know, how you, uh, uh, how you move in the world, right? Yeah. She, uh, and one of the craziest things, and I'm going to let you go, um, right now rent has went up in some places 40%. My mortgage hasn't changed since 2004. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? All right, that's that's a, that's the story right there. Yep. yep, that's a great benefit. Absolutely. There you go. That that changes a lot. So it does. Uh, thank you, Mr. Snell, for having for 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 you know doing this with us, and and hopefully we can we can uh, get back together again. Um, you know, um, uh, and and get that full story from you. You just let me know. I'm yours. And it's good to see y'all. This is like good to see you too. Dave. It is, yeah, it is. And and Murray keep, Murray keeps working on connecting us, David. I thought I thought it right here. As a matter of fact, his latest little deal on the southern. Uh, you know, he told me this morning that Robert Hall responded with some encouragement, and uh, yeah. and he's you know I, I'm there with him every week, and he's got another guy, Steve London, who's a lot smarter than I am, who's counseling murray to write something you know and to yeah. get more into this but yeah that's, that's probably the outline for a book is what he sent you well it and, is and, and the gaps need to be filled in yeah and then for some of us less literate types some of the quotations to me to be better explained <laughs> yeah and i've told him we need some stories murray i need yeah. stories <laughs> stories make all the difference yeah. <laughs> well, y'all have a great event. That's Saturday? Okay. Yes. Saturday. All right. Well, say hey to everybody for me. I sure will. will. All right. Thanks yeah, again, David. Thank Take you. Care. Thanks, Thanks for much. including me in this. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Great. Appreciate no problem. You. We love having you.